I've long thought that there is more to our nation's stories than what we're led to believe. For generations, too many people have recounted seeing things that defy understanding. Until recently, this belief was just that, a belief or superstition. Last year, on a forum devoted to sightings of the cryptozoological, I was contacted by a user named DeSelby. Through the course of our interactions, he claimed to have proof not only of the existence of a number of mythical creatures, but of an entire government conspiracy to keep it hidden. The documents he provided detail an entirely secret government department, and Rin Anahnath, the Department of the Unknown. The 1916 Rising, with its attendant chaos, the War of Independence, and ultimately Irish freedom, came at a cost. The established infrastructure of the British Civil Service, with all of its benefits, no longer existed in Ireland leaving a gaping hole in Irish security, not military, cryptozoological. The 20s and 30s saw a renewed interest in the tales of the ghosts and monsters that supposedly roamed the Irish countryside. We can see this in the writings of national school children, thanks to UCD's Dukas archive. They were retelling the horror stories of their parents and their grandparents. But why then exactly to retell these stories was never truly explained. Then, of course, the enactment of the 1937 Constitution was in many ways a new beginning for the Irish state. Then Taoiseach Eamon de Valera oversaw its drafting to the letter, and we can trace so many Irish institutions back to this seminal document. On Rin and Ahnath was born, a department to be kept hidden from public view, to research, secure, contain and protect to keep our fears in the back of our minds instead of our back gardens. The department began a nationwide information gathering project that would earn them a nickname that endures to this day. During the Second World War, Ireland was in a position of neutrality, but rationing was still a big part of the emergency, as it was known. The gas inspectors used to go around, door to door, to check for the illegal use of gas. The Glimmer Men. After the war, Glimmermen were never officially seen in public again, but they were there, in the shadows. The documents supplied by de Selby recount decades' worth of encounters and incidents involving cryptids and supernatural life forms. I've set up this website to let the world know the truth. I've uploaded several videos which show definitive proof of supernatural activity. With the help of de Selby, I managed to hack into an old Glimmermen database. These files are accessible from the site. Selby believes the Glimmer Men are onto him and will try to shut us down. But I must warn you, once you start digging, there may be no going back. So good luck.